Somebody get me a fuck. I already dialed the number, sir. All you have to do is press send. Gotta wipe your nose, boy. You got shit all over it. Come on, Tony. Pick it. Pick it up, Tony. Says he knows you. Simon Farino, he just shot Move a cop in the head. He's got three people away. hostages. Get somebody else, Lou. Anybody will do. He asked for you. You gotta That's get the good. fuck over here. Yeah, I understand. I mean now, okay? Yes. down here, man. I didn't have a choice. Snatch and fall. That's how it feels like it. You just got to talk to the man. Simon! Simon, it's me, Tony Castagna. Simon, Simon, I know you're in there. Simon! Come on, Simon, it's me, Tony. Tony? Yeah, Man. I'd like to come over there. It's kind of crazy in here right now, Tony. Well, they said you wanted to see me, so I'm here, all right, Simon? Very nice to you, Tony, but I don't think I don't appreciate it or nothing. It's just that I, I can't. Look, Simon, you didn't drag me out of bed, have me come all the way down here just to say fucking hello. You understand what I'm saying, Simon? Uh, all right, you can come, but no guns. Stay behind. I hate line. to see a fucking gun.
Nothing up my sleeve, Simon. I didn't say walk, man. Did I say walk? Okay. Now walk slow till I say stop. Stop! <laughs> Tony? Who else were you expecting, Simon? Yeah, you can't be too careful, man. You know, they play tricks. They make other people look like other people, make them sound like other people. How do I know it's you? Trust me, Simon. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell me a story only Tony would know. First time I met you, Simon, you were dicking some male hooker on the 8th Street Bridge. I let you go. Remember? I forgot all about that, Tony. <sighs> I never told no one about that, Tony. I never told anyone at all, not even my fucking priest. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's definitely you. <sighs> Sorry to hear about Mick getting killed, man. Kinda liked him. Fuck you, Simon. You don't want to talk about it, that's okay. Hey! Hey, wait! I heard you're on forced leave, man. You went a little cuckoo. How does it feel? Let's move, let's move it in! fire without a visual verification from another unit. I don't want us blowing away a cop by mistake there. You got a cop oh. in there? What the hell are you doing here, Jimmy? I heard it on the radio. You got a cop in there? Yeah, Tony Castagna. I used to walk this beat. I know that place. I could lead you in there quiet as a church mouse. I have to run that by the captain. You do that. I start work for him today anyway. Tony. <laughs> we could sit around, bullshit. Well, not these two over here. I mean, these bucks, they don't even say much, you know? <laughs> but Nikki over here, Nikki and I got a relationship, right, Nikki? Ain't that right, Nikki? Do the world a favor. Put a bullet in this asshole's head. Fuck you, man! You wanna die, you ugly fuck! Simon! Don't do it. Fuck you, Tony. Simon, Simon. Simon, look at me. Don't do it. I thought I had a, a clue about Nikki. I thought me and him were friends, but I guess we're not, you know? There's only one rule here. I'm in charge. I'm in fucking charge, man! You're fucking up here, Simon. I don't need to hear that from you, Tony. I don't need to hear that from you. You're my guest, remember? Guest. This isn't a tea social, Simon. This is fucking suicide. Suicide? Yeah, suicide. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong, Tony. That ain't me. That ain't my type. You should know that. You know what, Simon? I should've stayed in fucking bed. Because you don't have enough brains. 
or enough bullets to get out of your life. I got everything I want right here, man. Look, I'll waste these fucking people. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Wait! Where the fuck you going, Tony? What are you telling me? What, th this isn't gonna work? Simon, I don't even know what the hell this is. Do you? Look, look. You take hostages. You make demands. That's how it works. You know what, Simon? Have a nice death. Wait, wait. Uh, Tony, I can't let you do this, man. I can't let you go. You see... I don't want to die, all right? So you want me to make demands? I'm gonna make demands. How about this? Open your mouth. What? Open your mouth. <laughs> Don't make me ask you twice. Take one step forward, please. Bite down on it. <laughs> Good. The fuck? <laughs> you got two seconds, man, or I decorate the walls with his fucking brain. <laughs> hey, one of us has got to drop this gun, man, and I ain't in a fucking mood, you know? Drop it! I said drop it! Drop the fucking gun now! Do it! Nice headset. <laughs> Why don't you tell everyone outside that Simon says hi? Simon says hi. Louder, please. Simon says hi. Son of a bitch. Very nice. I get the fuck down on the floor now. Do it! <clears throat> New partner, Tony? You know, it's really unfortunate that you had to lie to me, Tony. I thought you and I were really good friends. Guess that was my fucking mistake, right? Let's go. Move. Now! Showtime. Simon says, take one dead step back. Now, do it. Get those people out of here. Get those people out of the way. Hey, hey. Don't fucking try it, man. Back off. Get fuck back there. Where's your fucking car, Tony? <laughs> you got a stereo. Hey, drop it, man. I'll blow his fucking brains out right now. Do it. Slide over and you're gonna drive the car out of here, all right? Get in the car, Tony! I'll blow your fucking head off, man. All right, Simon. Go ahead, blow my fucking head off, Simon. Blow it off. Go ahead, Simon. Blow my fucking head off, pal. Fuck you. Back the fuck up!
It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. We can see somebody, you know, maybe get some help. Push me away, Tony. Help me understand what you're feeling. You can't understand. You can't understand. Hey, get out of here. Why don't you just give me a chance? Good morning. It's busy in here. You 
you're ready for all that shit. <sighs> what shit? You know, I walk him back, you look great. How the hell are you, shit? Not really. Good, because that's not where you're going. This is where I work. Not now. For the next few weeks, you're going to be on special assignment. I can do the job, Lou. This is bullshit. It is not bullshit. You're going to be on the Lead Killer Task Force. It's very important. Lead Killer Task Force? It's fucking pencil pushing, Lou. So I've been out for six weeks. There's no reason to take me off the street. That's enough. We're not taking you off the street, so cut the shit, OK? Did you ever stop to think that maybe, just maybe, all right, you're part of this because you're one of the best? Huh? <sighs> Lieutenant Rayburn handpicked this task force. And you're one of them. And I'm another. You. Mm-hmm. Me. You got a problem with that, shithead? No. I guess somebody's gotta go get the coffee. Fuck you. No choice. Nope. When do we start? Right now. All right, let's get started here. What the fuck are you looking at? What? Tony Castagna, isn't it? You are Tony Castagna? Yes, sir. What are you waiting for an invitation? Sit down. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to the three latest members of the Lead Killers fraternity. Get those lights. All right. Hector Cuncano, a real fucking choir boy. Guns, drugs, the usual. Wanted in connection with the shooting deaths of an 11-year-old girl and a 13-year-old boy. Ten days ago, we found him hanging from the ceiling light in his bedroom. Jerry Piper, indecent exposure, known pedophile. Six days ago, he showed up outside a junior high school, impaled on a fence rod. And last, Mr. Carl House, assault with a deadly weapon, rape, parole violation. We found him stuffed in a refrigerator in the alley next to his apartment. Give me lights. That brings the total number of cases to 15. They all died the same way. The MO is identical. The cause of death in all 15 cases is due to the ingestion of hot lead. Now, I have heard a lot of talk about our notorious lead killer all over the city. Police officers are talking. Quick justice for scum. Some people seem to think that uh, he's reducing the crime rate by scaring the shit out of everybody. Goddamn right. <laughs> Will you listen to me, you white trash scumbag asshole? From now on, you don't have a thought unless I give you permission. Understood? Nod your head. I just want What are you fucking retarded? I said shut the fuck up and nod your head. All right, here are the files on our lead killer. Now I'm gonna break you up into three teams. Each team gets a stack. Each team reads and memorizes a stack. Separately or together, we are gonna come up with a plan to flush this bastard out. All right, listen up. Here are your team assignments. Hurley, you're with Jackson. Silver Wing, you're with Johnson. Castagna, that leaves you in the vein. Excuse me, Lieutenant. What? I, uh, I can't work with a man. Oh, really? Yeah. And why is that? It's personal. I don't do personal, Castagna. 
What do you think I just pulled your name out of a goddamn hat? Is that what you assholes think? I handpicked each and every one of you. What I have here, Castagna, is perfect. And I don't need some crazy wop bastard like you coming in here and telling me that you have a personal problem. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions, problems? Good. We got work to do. Got one day to look at these files. We meet again tomorrow. 0800. Don't say a fucking word, all right? What do you want me to say? Don't say a fucking word. It's real simple. I'm not working the man. I don't think you have much of a say in it. Oh, come on. The son of a bitch almost killed me this morning. I work alone, all right? I don't need a fucking partner anyway. Look, I understand. What I see is another cop who doesn't know you from shit putting his ass up on the line to back you up just because you're another cop. You want to tell me what the fuck is wrong with that? Look, I'm no shrink or anything, but I don't think you're pissed off, Tony. I, I think you're scared. What kind of shit is that, huh? What? OK, man, maybe, look, all I'm saying is it doesn't have to be this way. Jimmy Devane's a good cop. Wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Just relax. You don't have to like the guy. All you gotta do is work with him. This case will be wrapped up in a few weeks, I promise. And that's that. Jimmy Devane goes back to where he's from. I promise. If I got a problem? You come to me anytime. I gotta go. All right. You'll be all right, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Hey, but I come on. I, uh, I wish you'd stop trying to be my mother. I'm too good looking to be your mother. Thanks. Mm. Are you listening in? Hmm? Yeah. Well, next time, why don't you clear your throat or say hello or something, all right? Look, I'm really sorry about what happened today. No, next time, clear your throat or say hello. Fine. Who the fuck does that guy think he is calling me or whatever the fuck he called me? White fucking scum trash asshole. Did he write this shit down or something? Sounds like a pretty good analyst to me. Hey, I... Hey. Relax, he's just trying to get your attention. Oh, yeah? 
Well, nobody gets away with calling me whatever the fuck he called me, all right? Nobody. Ooh. What are you going to do about it? I'll think of something, OK? Really? Yeah. Well, while you're thinking about it, try thinking about this. What's the use? I mean, I think this guy's actually doing us all a favor. This isn't justice. What'd you say? He said it's not justice. This lead killer is a psychopath. There's no justice in that. This from a man who blew away an unarmed 10-year-old boy. What the fuck do you know about justice? How the hell do you know that, Hurley? It's none of your business, man. It is my business. I ran up on all you guys. I want to know who I'm working with and who to stay away from. My fucking baby killers. Sit the fuck down. I said sit the fuck down. Everyone's got a past, Hurley. What's in your closet? Ah. He was under investigation by IED five times last three years for use of excessive force. Beginning of the year, he beat a pimp's head so badly cracked the man's skull in five places. Jackson was accused of planting illegal evidence trying to make a case against some Jamaican crack dealers. Just the rumor of that was enough to throw out what could have been one of the biggest drug busts in the city. They tell me that Silverwing may have taken the law into his own hands and slit the throat of a Cuban gang leader. But they couldn't find the knife, could they? Silverwing. Tony and I, well, Tony and I, we, uh, we have pretty much the same story. We both have forced mental leave. Tony's partner was uh, shot and killed. Mine's in the hospital. Broke us up pretty bad. The only difference between Tony and I is I'm not hooked on uh, antidepressants anymore. Yeah, well, the whole fucking world's got problems to deal with, don't they? And there you have it, the city's finest. All in one room. Kind of gives you the goosebumps, don't it? Got those matches. Stupid habit. Yeah. I know. I'm supposed to quit. So you don't seem to be very comfortable with the way I'm handling this. It's not the record, okay? Talk to me. I think it sucks. Do you? You're way off the mark here, and your game plan stinks. So noted. What, that's it? I heard what you had to say. I don't give a shit, but I heard you say it. Now, I want you to do something for me. Are you crazy? OK, I'll pretend I have a hearing problem. Then I'll say it louder. Are you out of your mind? You're going to do what I tell you when I tell you. I've spent too goddamn long setting this thing up to have you get in my way. You listen to me. These lead killer victims are not selected at random. These stiffs are a special kind of scum. Each one of them has managed to slip through our fingers for one reason or another. Now, only a police officer would know that. One of us. In fact, one of our six fucking losers is the doer. I'm going to flush him out, and I don't care how I do it. Take care of this. Tony's back. I don't want to hear that. He's a friend to you. He's a suspect to me. Now, you handle the release. I'll take care of the rest. You can go now, Captain.
perfect. Bottom line, you didn't read him his rights. His we name. want to bring you up on charges! For what? Excessive force! He's a fucking dead man. A whole bunch of witnesses saw you beat him up. Don't be a hard headed cow breeze. Just keep it cool, Tony. I guess you can't win them all all the time, Tony. Oh. Get, 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 get him the hell out of here! <laughs> get them out of my sight! Get him out of Don't fucking say a fucking word. Follow him. I was kind of wishing you'd done that to my car. I could use the insurance money. Was that supposed to be some kind of joke, huh? An attempt. Fuck you. That little fuck killed a cop. And he's walking tonight. And I'm responsible for that. Because I didn't read him his rights. But that little fuck lost his rights the minute he fucking put that gun in my mouth! In my mouth! Jimmy, I, I just can't help thinking how, how it would have been if, if if you hadn't shown up. If you hadn't shown up and played cowboy. I just can't help thinking that. Look, Tony, I'm really sorry. I don't want that shit from you! We have to work together. I don't want a friend, and I don't want a partner. If I had a partner... He's dead now. He's dead. Where the fuck are you been? I had a little talk with Captain Spinelli. Yeah, about what? Just want to make sure that Tony was okay. So you dumped that little shit in the river? No. We took him home. Tucked him in and everything. Treated us like goddamn servants. Should have whacked the fuck. What a bunch of shit. Now somebody else is gonna have to die before this asshole sees any time. Long drive? No, just down by the bay. One of those transient hotels, uh, the Boy Vista. Hey, where are you going? I promised my son I'd be in before he went to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Don't even think it. What? What? You're about as subtle as a cheap hooker. Long drive? Fuck you, I just wanted to talk to the little shit, all right? Hey! That prick is building a case against us. Don't let him make it any stronger. Who the fuck made you do it? 
Turkey egg. Let it rest, Hurley. What the fuck does it matter anyway? You don't owe Tony anything. The guys wound a little tight, if you ask me. Nobody did. For the beer, gentlemen. Man can't take a little criticism. Yeah, fuck him, too. That scumbag Simon Farino wasted one of our lady cops today and he walked. Hey, Joe, can you, uh, give me another double? Yeah. Thanks, man. Here you go, Tony. Thanks. Just take it easy, man. Yeah. Pterodactyl, pterodactyl. He wants to be your friend, Ray. You see? He wants to be your friend. There you are. There you go. You know, I think you'd like these guys. They're a little rough around the edges, but they're our kind of people. It's important work we're doing. I wish you could be there. I got a new partner. His name is uh, Tony. He's a handful, but uh, I think it'll work out. Look, I know it's still three days to go before your birthday, but I brought you a present. Would you like me to unwrap it for you? Yeah? All right. Something you're gonna like. You know what it's called? Tommy's Day at the Circus. And you know what it's about? Birds. You ready? Here we go. It was a bright, sunny day. I know, partner. I know. Oh, my God. 
One for your wallet? <sighs> Wise guy. I need those in an hour. All right. And Dad, four and a half, five hours talks. Any sign of a fall? No. It was just laid out like a Christmas present. Carried down three flights of stairs. Anything? No, no. Okay, boss. What do you got? What the hell is he doing here? It's part of the investigation. I'll say. Coincidence and a dead body. One time is a coincidence. What? Did you have Tony followed? Of course not. They don't follow a cop like Tony without him knowing it. Did you at least have the brains to have this place watched? Yes. I used an old informant of mine. I haven't heard from him yet. Oh, this is working out better than planned, isn't it? We'll find him. Do it now! And this time, keep it quiet. Early, Jackson, come here. You find anything? No. This place is a cesspool. Whoever did this job was wearing gloves. I don't think you're gonna find anything. You guys wanna do me a favor? Yeah, sure. I need you to find someone for me. It's personal for another case. The guy's name's Lincoln Hollison. White, 59510, stocky. Moves around a lot, so I don't have an address for you, but uh, I heard he hangs out at a place called Billiard Bob's on Edison. Hmm? Pick him up. Give me a call. I'll be at the office. No problem, Captain. What the hell are you doing? We got better things to do with our time. This is bullshit. He asked us. So? Tell him an emergency came up or something. We had to hand it over. I mean, what does it matter anyways? Yo, Jimmy. Jimmy. Simon from the captain. Oh? Uh -huh. Why? What do I look like? Kreskin? I don't know. It's a job. When? Now. Oh, OK. OK. Tony. Yeah. Got a job. I wonder what he wants with Allison. You know him? Yeah. This has been Spinelli's rat for a long time. Small-time drugs, you know, big-time mouth. Sounds like a fair trade-off. It works. You know, I'm trying real hard here. Well, don't, all right? I told you last night. You were pissed off last night. I'm pissed off all the fucking time, all right? Just for the record, Tony, I'm not your doormat. I'd like you to be my partner in this, but it takes two to do that. If you're not willing, that's your call. If you want to walk around pissing and moaning about how damn miserable your life is, you do it on your own time. I'm not your savior. I'm not here to play games with you. Games? What are you talking about, games? I had a partner, Raymond Tower. We were together a lot of years. One night, he had a large chunk of the back of his head blown away. I snapped. I spent three and a half weeks in county psych. I saw people like you every day. Guys built walls around their lives. 
didn't have the guts to tear him down. You got baggage, you can dump it or carry it on your own. You know, I envy you. At least you got a grave to go visit. Say what you gotta say, then get out. Fine, Homer. Lincoln Hollison. Don't know him. Oh, I think you do know him. You calling me a liar? Yeah, I am calling you a liar. Fuck you. <laughs> now you listen to me very carefully, you great big piece of shit. My partner asked you a question. You're gonna answer it. Don't you ever talk to my partner that way. Do you fucking understand me? Yeah, yeah. Lincoln Hollis, and where does he live? And my partner here is gonna rip your ugly face off. 163 E Street. I think he's in 26, maybe 27. I'm not sure. Thanks, Homer. Oh, the 
Talk to you, that's all. Jesus Christ. When I ask you to do a job, I expect it to be done by you. Ain't that too much to ask for? I don't want to hear one word out of your mouth, detective. Now hit the streets and find all of them. Now. You all right? I feel better. Uh, I write it up and take the rest of the day off. Lou, Lou. All right. What do you want with Hollison anyway? Uh, it's nothing. It's not important. I'll call you at home later on, all right? Come on, I'll drive you back. I can't believe we're doing this. We disobey Spinelli so, so I can seek my revenge. I don't have a problem with that. That's great, but what am I doing here? You're my partner. Hold this. He didn't call me white scum trash. I rest my case. Now, this white scum oh. has some trash to deliver. Knock on this motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, take a deep breath. Come on, breathe. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. A little sore, but okay. Tell me something about yourself. Talk about yourself. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I do. What's her name? Roxanne. Roxanne, it's a nice name. Mm -hmm. The things aren't going that well right now. Yeah, I understand. Family? Yeah, my mom passed away about 10 years ago. Sorry. My dad, he runs a little fishing village down the Keys. You a fisherman? Born into it. My father's fifth, sixth generation. Started in Italy, and they came here, you know, to make money. And did they? My dad makes a good living. Never wanted me to be a cop. Let me take over the family business, you know? Yeah, me too. Never did, huh? No, you're looking at it. I come from a long line of cops. Grandfather, my father. My father was killed in the line of duty when I was eight. I'm sorry. When I was a kid, I couldn't think of anything more beautiful than my father and his blues. It quite a run, my pop. Born to be a cop. That's me. You know, you could be a pretty nice guy when you want to be. You don't need those pills, Tony. Tell me about that night. What night? That night. I, uh, I, I took the, uh, the big room in, in the kitchen and, uh, and Mickey searched the others. Um, I, I, 
I turned around and, and uh, then I, 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 I saw Mickey come out of the uh, out of the second bedroom. Yeah, he was smiling, just to you know let me know that that was empty and. Uh, And that's when I saw it. There was a... There was a bit of moonlight coming in, and it was shining off the barrel, and I, I tried to open my mouth. I tried to open my mouth and tell him. But, uh, I, uh... I mean, nothing came out. I really, I, Jim, I tried to tell him. And I... Mickey was, uh... Mickey was dead before he hit the floor. I looked up and I saw that fucking asshole coming at me. That was, it was, he had his, he had his gun cocked. He was coming at me. I mean, I really thought I was gonna die. I really did. That's, uh, that's when the uniforms came in, and, uh... Spinelli was standing right next to me, and he was talking to me, but I couldn't hear a thing. All I kept hearing was a shotgun blast. Over and over again. What happened to the shooter? William the Baker. Mr. Al's in a couple weeks. Well, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be there when they fry that fuck. I wanna look in his eyes. And I wanna see that same fear that the motherfucker tried with me. We don't seem to be doing very well, do we? I don't get it. Why do you run? Why in the hell didn't he call me? I'll tell you why. He was in that alley. He saw Tony dump Simon's body. He knew Tony, didn't he? So? So he makes Tony as a cop. He sees a cop, for Christ's sake, kill a guy. Well, you didn't pay him to see that. No, he panics. This is too big for him. He's not gonna finger a cop. But then who the fuck knocks on his door? Tony Castagna. Yeah. There's no coincidence in this anymore. I've known Tony a long time. Maybe if I talk to him. I got one card left to play with Tony. William the Baker. No, I won't let you do that. You. You're in this up to your fucking eyeballs, Captain. You won't do shit. Hey, I'm a cop. I believe in it. I treasure it. It's what I am. When I first put this together and realized it was one of us, it made me sick. I wanted this bastard real bad. Now, they can all think whatever they want about this task force. It's the perfect sting. You and I are the only two people that know what this task force really is. Nobody knows? No. When the time comes, I'm gonna be able to bring the head of this bastard right to the people who need to know. You're gonna use the baker's bait, aren't you? That's right. And Tony's gonna bite. And you and I are going to be right there. So? Look, don't push me here. I'm putting my job in the line for this. No, you're not. You're doing what every defense attorney would do. You're trying to cut your client the best deal you can. This doesn't mean anything. You know it. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, he's gonna do life. You know that, I know that. This is the only chance you got of cutting that to 15 years. You haven't told me what you want with him. That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Do we have a deal or not?
do it. He speaks. Try not to do that too much. I hate the fucking ground you walk on, Baker. But that's my problem. You're gonna do everything I tell you to do or I'll blow your goddamn head off. Those are the rules. Remember them. Let's go. I just can't do this anymore. Um, you know, now's a real bad time to discuss this. I haven't had a real good day. Tell me a story I haven't heard a thousand times already. Don't get killed. Okay. What do you think I am? Let's not start this. No, answer me. What do you think I am? Am I the woman you sleep with? Or a babysitter who looks after you every time you get drunk or wasted on those stupid pills? Don't, please, don't. Tony, who am I to you? I really don't know. Right now, I, uh... I really don't know. Well, maybe you should think about that. You can have the couch. like I'm selling government secrets. What's the problem? I, I didn't know who else to talk to but you. I, I don't know. What are you talking about, Hurley? Tony did, Simon. What? They're on to him, Jimmy. This whole thing is a fucking scam. Hey, look, I'm not following you here. This whole task force is bullshit. It's something Rayburn and Spinelli set up. Set up? Set up for what? I was in Rayburn's office to do the... It doesn't matter for what. But I saw everything. Rayburn put it all together. He figured that only a cop would have the inside information to pick out the victims. He ran a background check on all of us. We're suspects. All of us. You and me, we're middle to bottom of the list. Tony's number one. I knew that guy was wound way too fucking tight. I don't fucking believe this. Simon's release? It's all part of the setup. They were gonna have somebody watch Simon. Uh, this Hollison guy or something. It was all part of the plan, Jimmy. But they haven't proven anything yet. Not yet. That's why Rayburn's releasing this guy to Breaker. Baker. Yeah, they got him holed up in some hotel for a few days. It's in Rayburn's notes. I wrote it all down. Rayburn and Spinelli are hiding right next door. They're going to put the word out on the street. Wait for Tony to bite. It's too fucking weird. Yeah. You could be in some danger. No. 
I'm not in any danger. Tony's no doer. Yeah? You read those files and you'll change your mind. No. But they'll figure it out. Sooner or later. And so will you. Fuck! Jesus! Jesus Christ, Jimmy. Almost gave me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Come on. We'll take my car. He got some stuff to do. Where are we going? I got info. Info. On the case we're working on. What is all this? Trust me. William DeBaker. Is this some kind of fucking joke, Jimmy? He's out. And I know where he lives. So? So what? I hated my father for dying. There's no other way to explain it but that. I grew up. Festered inside me like a like a cancer. You understand? About a year ago, I was going through some stuff in the basement, and uh, I found this. these years. I blame my father. But it had nothing to do with my father. It had to do with a justice system. There are so many fucking loopholes in it that can drive a fucking truck through it. It just, it just didn't seem right. It didn't seem fair. So, I started the lead bit. 
sort of a, a tribute to my dad. Not sort of. It's a tribute to my dad. At first, you know, I thought I was going to be repulsed. But I wasn't. I couldn't find a flaw in it. It was perfect. I mean, what are you going to do when they just keep slipping through the cracks and slipping through the cracks and slipping through the fucking cracks? I'll bet you can't answer that. But I got one problem. Rayburn figured it out, sort of. He thinks you're the one. Him and Spinelli are in the way. They're setting you up. They think that you're going to go and kill D. Baker. Don't worry about it. I'll handle that for you. And I'll take care of them at the same time. What? I want you to come with me. There is, Tony, there is a beauty. There is a perfection. It'll rip your heart out. It'll... It'll take your breath away. I tried to explain this to my old partner, but... You know, he didn't get it. I didn't want to kill him. It wasn't his fault. What I did was sufficient. I did what was necessary. He, he likes birds, did I tell you? If I were you, I would take that gun out with just two fingers, put it on the table. Now, I thought that you were going to understand. Maybe you just need time. Yeah. How about I give you that time, huh? How about you go fuck yourself, you sick piece of shit?
are you? You would be that fucking arrogant, wouldn't you? Look what you made me do. <laughs> now I gotta start all over again. You found a gun, huh, Tony? You're a very enterprising young man. Put the gun away, Tony. probably want to see this fuck dead more than I want to kill him. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Do you know what this is about, Tony? This... is about justice. There was a time, and there was a place for everything. Put the gun away. I can't do that. You have the right to an attorney. You can't kill me. Look at him. Take a good look at him, Tony. Those 
flashbacks must be coming at you at 100 miles an hour. He's in the hallway. Mickey's brains splattered all over the walls. <laughs> the gun is in your hand. can't squeeze the trigger, can you? Not for the life of you, not for the very life of you, can you squeeze the trigger? He's recocking his gun. Thank <laughs> you. 